Hello everybody, this is Mike Judy the Second. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And last time I left you guys on a cliffhanger. I mean, unless you didn't, uh, never played this game before, then technically it's not a cliffhanger, but... So anyway, uh, we went in here before, we just kind of looked around at all the cool shit that's inside of here. Um, if you are playing the 3DS version, there's a little thing that's supposed to be over in this corner over here. Um, the point of it is just to basically give you, I believe, hints throughout the game if you need them at all. So anyway, yeah, there are three hollows and... Hollows? And the inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones stands with Ocarina. Stand with Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. That is how the inscription reads. Ooh, baby. Alright then, so yep, that's exactly what we need to do here. Oh. <laughs> I forgot how the song went. I just start playing my own remix and all of a sudden the world's like, ah, you know, you did a good job, fine. We're just gonna kill Ganondorf randomly. So, yep, uh, you can really only get the ocarina at this point, so, um, but I'm sure one of the reasons why they force you to have the ocarina is if you somehow found a way to glitch into here. Um, if you didn't have the ocarina, then it wouldn't work to, uh, th that's my guess anyway. But to my knowledge, there's really no way to get inside Hyrule Castle besides the actual, uh, you know, get, taking the bridge inside of here. <laughs> but anyway, these are the spiritual stones. And we have opened up. Yep, we have just opened up this nice little area. Oh, I did not mean to run up there. Okay, so it still reads uh, the same as usual. If we wanted to, we could do a backflip on this. Yeah! Stepping on all your spiritual stones. But no, seriously, as we go forward, we see the one, the only. The Legendary Blade. The Master Sword. So bitchin'. Nobody can diss this damn thing. It is a legendary sword in, at the very least, gaming media. It's just so fucking cool. That thing's pretty big. Are we even gonna be able to pick it up? Now remember guys, going forward right now means you are, you are set for a while. So make sure you are done with what you need to do in the past before you go here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, so he did know we had the keys. Uh oh. Do is that our fault? So uh basically we should have locked the door on the way out. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we don't fucked up. But that's fine. Well, kind of, I don't know. Some bad shit's going on now. So now we have awoken in this trippy ass place. I always wanted to, I think they did a, uh, what is it? Is, what's the name of the series? It's like called Off Camera or something. It's basically a dude who takes control of the camera in video games and uh, shows you what goes on in the background so he'll, he like you can explore the room with the camera here even though we can never do it in the actual game pretty cool stuff I'll try to see if I can if I remember I'll post it in the description below so yeah this is Roru one of the ancient sages and if I remember correctly I don't think it's ever stated throughout this game but in the um in the Hyrule Historia he's also the owl he's the one who's been following us the entire time so I don't know if there's any similarities, like maybe his eye color is the same or same or something or whatever. But yeah. And yep, he is the he's the sacred sage of the Temple of Light. And what is it? it the no, the Temple of Light situated in the very center of the sacred realm is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Mike, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Well, I don't have a mirror to go on here, but, uh... Ooh. Oh, shit. We got big. Took a lot of protein shakes or something. 
Look, Mike, you're big now. You've grown up. Oh, sorry, that's Navi. <laughs> the Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. I'll stop writing this now because, you know, <laughs> I, I promised I wasn't going to read this, even though this is the big exposition dump. Or I don't know if it's called exposition dump. But... Anyway, uh, we are um, seven years in the future now, which makes me think, how old was Link? Because Link looks like a like a, almost an adult here. Do you understand your destiny? Yes. Please don't pull that owl shit here. I mean, I know you are the owl, but hopefully you're better than that. Ganondorf, the Grotto King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. You know, it really upset me they never showed a scene where he actually has... The Triforce, because that would look so, like, it, like you know, if they were to actually remake this game and not just do a simple, which I understand why they did the remake that they did, because honestly, if they tried to do a legit, like, what they're doing with Final Fantasy VII right now, everybody wouldn't be happy. You know, well, not everybody, but basically the fans of the game would not be happy. But I really wish they showed him actually having the the Triforce and how he gained so much power. But, uh, the, so yeah, so his evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only a little influence, even in the sacred realm. So yeah, so, so basically, which I, it really makes me wonder, you know, did he know this guy was here, and did he even try to kill this dude? So, just, just a thought. So yeah, basically we gotta go on a hunt now because while we have the ability to kill Ganondorf, he got super powerful because we forgot to lock the damn door. God damn it, Link. Well, technically this is Mike, but you know what I mean. You get what I'm saying here. I say Mike when I read the actual thing, but I'll say Link outside because you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know, maybe some people don't. They're like, who the fuck are you talking about? Who's Link? I've never seen Zelda anymore. So this will be the easiest one of the medallions we will ever get in the game. And these things do almost absolutely nothing. You receive the Light Medallion. Roro the Sage adds his power to yours. You get no extra power from these, so uh, yeah, don't get your hopes up. It, it's nothing. It's literally nothing. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. So that was that big moment, which honestly it wasn't as bad as you think it would be. Oh shit, this got trippy. Holy balls. I wonder how they did this scene, actually. So now we're here. We're an adult. We got our new sword, baby. Yep, seven years. Which again, like, I'm really curious because Link really does kind of look more like an adult in this. Like, maybe not a full-grown adult, but how old do you think, like, real question, how old do you think Link was before he grabbed the Master Sword? What the hell? We got a new person to talk to now. One in a deep forest, one in a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, and one inside a goddess of the sand. So basically that's our hints about all of the sages that we have to go find. And she is a Sheikah, which as I've said before, they really don't get that much representation within the Zelda series, but... Thinking about it, I think this is basically the best they get until Breath of the Wild. And she's specifically Sheik, which, you know, that's kind of a very uncreative name. Basically, this person is helping us get our kind of set the mission straight. In case um, I'm guessing, the best way I can think about it, is she did the game. The creators didn't want to just throw us into this whole mess. They wanted to point us in a direction. So one sage is waiting for you, uh, for the uh, waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl. I'm sure you know. Uh oh. 
Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakened call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. Do you understand, Mike? Yes, I do. Alright, so yep, so basically she's not letting us near the middle of this place again. To save the forest girl, you need another skill. Head to Kakariko Village. So that's her hint, and honestly, I hate that hint because I don't think that really gives you enough. But yep, we are an adult now, folks. We are a lot bigger than we were before. Was that my phone? Did my phone go off? thought I turned the sound off. But uh, yeah, we are a lot bigger than we were before. You can hear the, the differences in the sound. And also our items. I don't know if uh, Navi said anything. I thought she did. But the seeds, the boomerang, the fairy slingshot, you know, they don't work anymore. Even, even the uh, mask down here as well. And I have to say, really, why not the boomerang? Like, we, when you play through this game, I don't even think the boomerang is really that useful. Like, the only thing I can say is that it makes sure that you don't have any kind of a, uh, a ranged weapon. That's basically the best way to put it. There's no ranged weapon in the game here at this point because of what's going on and it just pisses me off because we just got our hands on this damn thing and then we lose it and it's like uh and it really doesn't become useful ever again and we also have our outfits here and as we can see the deku shield and kokiri sword are just too small for us so we are now uh just doesn't work out like that anymore also we i don't know why but this specific portrait looks ugly i wonder if this is the best they can get it because i know on emulators this whole picture of link is just glitched to fuck and also, as you can see, the seed satchel and I guess the bracelet don't work anymore? Huh. That's interesting, I never knew that. I mean, I guess it makes sense that we can just pick up bombs and stuff again, but whatever. So anyway, yes, yeah, so we have to collect the medallions now, and that's about it. Couldn't really say about everything. We have the Master Sword now, it now does double damage compared to the, Kokor the Kokiri Sword. Keep that in mind, and oh boy. I love that. As soon as you walk out, you know, that's Death Mountain back there. And you immediately see, oh shit, something's going down with Death Mountain. We're already talking about the girl. Oh yeah, the right, the girl. So, that basically is telling you you need to do this. Oh wait, no. I did it backwards. <laughs> wait a minute. Does the game not zoomed in right now? It showed the whole thing about everything being on the... I need to look at that in a second. Anyway, do you want to talk to Saria right now? Mike, this is Saria. Can you hear me? Great, you're safe. I knew I'd hear from you again. I'm in the Forest Temple. The Forest Spirits were calling for help, so I went to check it out. But it's full of evil monsters. Help me. Oh, shit. So, yeah, I, I love that. I, I love that. I love the fact that you get to talk to her again. No. Why does it take a B as no? I hate that. Or as a select for yes. That makes no sense. And oh. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. So now we have these undead folks here. But they don't scare you like you did before. But yeah. The marketplace is really fucked up. And no you cannot go in any of the. I didn't show it off before. But there's back areas you can go to, into. And you can't go into them anymore. So. And this is Hyrule Castle folks. And one of the reasons you do want to get your hands on the whole fairy thing that you uh, couldn't uh, in the Hyrule uh, in the whole uh, Hyrule field. No, it's not field. Whatever the, the entrance to the castle, basically. Um, the uh, you cannot get to that from here, so you have to get that in the past. If uh, <laughs> so, don't don't fuck that up. And can you talk to the bone here at all? Nope. Just a skeleton for the sake of being a skeleton. So, and really there's nothing to do over do out here at all, I don't believe. I don't even think there's any, uh... Actually, there might be a golden sculpture around here. Is there? There is. Okay. I thought there was absolutely nothing, but I guess there is something. Okay. Oh, shit. Can we get it? Let me see if we can get it. Yeah, baby! And I wanted to show this off anyway, but it's over a pit of... I don't know if you'd call it lava or what, but holy shit. So anyway. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, that exposition uh, dump wasn't too bad, honestly. Only around, uh, probably like, what, ten minutes right there? So that's not too bad. Could de could have definitely been worse. <laughs> so yeah, now we need to head to toward uh, Hyrule Field and Kakariko uh, Village, but also we can go down here. And we find ourselves this person.
So this person already knows their name and they're creepy as hell. <laughs> if I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. <laughs> ah, prostitution. So yeah, this is a ghost shop. Um, we... You could have encountered Pose, which is the name of ghosts in this game. Um, but you can encounter Pose inside the graveyard for, um... Like, if you fucked with certain things, I believe. If you, uh, as Young Link, uh, we're now going to talk the difference between Young Link and Adult Link. But as Young Link, you can attack Pose in that area, and you can, uh, grab them. Sometimes they heal you, sometimes they damage you, so watch out for that. But this guy will actually, uh, uh, take payment for him. So there are less pots in here, but the game kind of makes up for it for that 20 ruby right there, so. You can still grind here as an adult, so. Well, <laughs> grinding. <laughs> But yeah, as an adult, you can still uh, come here to uh, collect some rubies, but I mean, honestly, it could be seen as a faster method because it's probably better just to grab one ruby and then call it a day instead of having to break a bunch of other pots. But even though you walk over it too, that bridge is fucked. It's, it's been destroyed, so it just shows how fucked up Hyrule, uh, Hyrule really is. And going forward, I think it does it as well because it's nighttime. Yep, we see our first Poe. Crazy shit here. Things are not the same, folks. Yep. We fucked that one up. So anyway, I think I'm gonna dump this milk. Though it should be said, uh, there, if you want to get rid of uh, items inside your bottle, you can uh, sell them as well. So keep that in mind. There we go. So with a dead Poe, it then it, I guess all its soul is inside its uh, little thing. And then we can catch it with our bottle. Oh, wait, no. Do we have to check it? Oh, no. We have to run into it. Okay. You defeated the Poe Ghost. Do you want to catch it in a bottle? Sure, why the hell not? And I guess I'll just real quick, we'll cut and we'll show off what the, uh... We'll show off the Poe Bottle. Alright, then let's, let's uh, give this dude a... Hey, young man, blah, blah, blah. Your card has zero points. Come back again. Okay, so if we... You have to Z-target him and then select the bottle. Oh, you brought a Poe today. Hmm. This is a normal Poe. Here are your ten rubies. Take them. Ten rubies for one Poe. Yeah, kind of sucks. I mean, twenty rubies would make more sense, because then you could kind of use them as a grinding method, but... Uh, trust me, there is something we have to get from that guy as well. But we can't get it yet, so we were supposed to head towards Kakariko Village, but I think we should head towards the ranch for a little bit of fun first. Because this is like one of the... Honestly, I really do love the way this game kind of... Because some people don't like this game, and I understand why. But I do think the whole past and present thing really sets it up. It's like you have your three areas, so it's like, so you, you are, you know those three areas. You know what they are. They're in slight, they're in a slight bit of peril, but it's not too bad. You know, they, they just need to get something done. Whereas now, as an adult, shit just went down, and you want to make sure all of those people are okay. And I, I do think it's an, uh, it's an important thing, which um, a lot of people probably overlook sometimes because it's like oh you know it's just the normal uh is there even anybody in here um it's a normal thing i think a lot of people probably overlook because they're like oh whatever big deal but it's like no you know everything's destroyed and the you know you see the death mountain and you know you you hear the there's something wrong with the forest as well oh yep oh we never even talked to this dude that was my bad so uh this dude is a dude who complains about how I guess he deserve. It's either about something that he feels he deserves. He's a, he's basically a grumpy old dude, and he complains how he deserves this, this, and that, and uh, you know nobody else uh, deserves it but him. Let's see, we got some horses in here, and is everybody talked to? I think I may need to change the day and night schedule. Okay, yeah, I think that's what's gonna what needs to happen. But anyway, yeah. So things change, and it you know it 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 definitely can freak out freak you out at first and one of the things I do think probably does uh, freak people out too is like you go out into Hyrule Field and there's usually not a lot of monsters out there in the actual game but day or night if I remember correctly you will see Pose you will see other kinds of uh, monsters and stuff so it's something to watch out for you know it, it it's it's like you really do feel like Hyrule just got fucked right now <laughs> you know Ganon has taken over and now we have to uh, do something about it but look what we found Oh, a visitor. It's been a long time since we've had a visitor. Here. Where do you come from? Since Ganondorf came, uh, people in the castle town have gone. Places have been ruined and monsters are wandering everywhere. Mr. Ingo is just using the ranch to gain Ganondorf's favor. Everyone seems to be turning evil. 
But Dad, he was kicked off the ranch by Mr. Indigo. Yeah, I guess the uh, only thing I can think of is that Ganondorf gave him the ability to? Like, how the fuck did he have the power to do that? If I disobey Mr. Indigo, he will treat the horses so badly. So there's nothing I can do. Oh shit. 